Hi everyone. Back again with the movie adult recap. In this video, I will try to tell a storyline from the film entitled Survival Island. The film, released in 2005, tells the story of a married couple who are stranded on an island with a man they didn't know before. How do they survive on an island far from humans? Okay. Instead of being more curious, we just go to the storyline. But as always, if you like the content on this channel, don't forget to press the subscribe button so that admins are more excited to upload the latest video. At the beginning of the story, there is a wealthy couple named Jack and Jennifer Dot and two of their friends who want to take a vacation on a cruise ship. Once there, Jack introduces his wife and two friends to the captain of the ship. Meanwhile, Jennifer and her girlfriend see a very handsome man, apparently one of the crew of the ship. Jennifer's friend looks interested in the man who turns out to be named Manuel. Likewise with Jennifer who secretly noticed him. And unexpectedly, it turns out Manuel also noticed Jennifer. But suddenly a woman came scolding Manuel. He was Manuel's ex-girlfriend. He slapped Manuel in front of everyone. And ended up being a spectacle of many people there. Of course this makes Manuel embarrassed. Until finally he slapped his ex-girlfriend. Until the woman utters an expletive and will ruin her life. He slapped Manuel in front of everyone. And ended up being a spectacle of many people there. Of course this makes Manuel embarrassed. Until finally he slapped his ex-girlfriend. Until the woman utters an expletive and will ruin her life. After all the work is done. Manuel rested by reading a book in his room. While in another place, Mary was seen performing a ritual using a straw doll. He was flailing at the doll which had an impact on Manuel. Manuel felt like he was slapped until his nose was bleeding. The next morning, the four rich men sunbathed on the boat. They are served by Manuel. But Jack who still harbors resentment due to last night's events. Finally, Jack also complained Manuel's nature to the captain of the ship. So, the captain of the ship came to Manuel. Manuel who has an irritable nature, does not accept Jack's complaint. And make his emotions peak to make him angry, until he unconsciously throws a cloth on the stove that is still burning. Of course, before long the fire grew bigger until it spread throughout the ship causing it to burn. The ship's captain tried to extinguish the fire by using an extinguisher. But his efforts were too late. Panic ensued making them all forced to leave the ship by boarding a lifeboat. Just as they plunged into the sea, the ship exploded. Suddenly Jennifer was stranded on a small uninhabited island. Jennifer is sat at the beach saw a body floating in the ocean. She immediately ran towards him. And it turned out to be the body of the captain of the ship. Jennifer who did not know if the captain was dead. Tried to drag him as hard as possible to the beach. But Jennifer was not strong enough to drag him alone. Manuel helped him. Apparently Manuel was also stranded on the island. A few days later. Jennifer and Manuel are alone on the uninhabited island. They get along and help each other survive. They are looking for various ways to survive, ranging from catching fish to eat together, to building makeshift dwellings. The next day, Manuel finds Jennifer grieving. Because Jennifer is thinking about her undiscovered husband, and may have died. Jennifer recalled the moment everyone left the ship by lifeboat. At that moment, there was a storm and made their lifeboats upside down. Everyone is separated until they are stranded on the island. Manuel tried to comfort Jennifer so as not to be sad by taking her to swim together at the beach. And over time they have the same feelings. The day goes on. Manuel who was hunting for food alone accidentally found Jack. Jack is Jennifer's husband who is stranded on the rocks. Manuel immediately helped her and took her to their small house. Jennifer who saw her husband survived, was very happy. But different from Manuel who actually did not like Jack's presence. Especially since he already likes Jennifer. In the afternoon, Jack who wakes up from his sleep, saw his wife very close and familiar with Manuel when hunting for food. As a husband of course he's very jealous. Jack who is initially grateful is saved by Manuel. Finally suspects Manuel has a hidden desire to have his wife. After getting the results of his hunt. The three of them also ate together. Jack who was so angry and jealous began to insinuate and abuse Manuel in front of Jennifer, who finally made Manuel leave without having dinner. Until it finally got Manuel to separate himself, and build his own home. Jack even threatens Manuel, 
that he promises to ruin his life after they come off the island. Jennifer also feels very uncomfortable with Jack, which goes against her mind. Because they both need Manuel's help to survive. Jack who is arrogant, does not care about his wife's words. He is stubborn, if he can provide for the needs of both of them. But the fact, that Jack was not able to make it happen, eventually made Jennifer's relationship with Jack worse. Finding food is much easier for Manuel. Because he has a knife and diving glasses, in contrast to Jennifer and Jack who lack equipment. When, Manuel sleep. Jack secretly picked up all the manual equipment in order to hunt fish in the ocean. Manuel who knew him was very angry. He was very eager to finish off Jack when the man was diving to catch fish. However, Jennifer who knew it tried to restrain him. Which made them both fall on the beach. Manuel who had long liked Jennifer almost harassed her. But what happened next was that the two of them continued to make out. Manuel has been expressing his love for Jennifer since they first met. Jennifer initially felt regret, although she herself admitted that she also liked Manuel. A few hours later, Jack returned from hunting and brought a large fish. He saw his wife and Jack felt something strange. He guessed if something had happened between Jennifer and Manuel. Jennifer couldn't lie, the look on her face inadvertently hinted at Jack what was really going on. Knowing this, of course, Jack was very angry. Then he dragged his wife to Manuel's place. One day, Jack dives and finds a broken small boat on the seabed. He immediately dragged the boat to land to be repaired. Manuel who saw it tried to help him. But Jack refused. Because he was planning to leave the island alone by using the boat he found. Jennifer and Manuel worry about being left alone on the island. They plan to steal Jack's boat while he's off guard. Finally, Jack went to find food for the trip. Manuel who saw it immediately woke Jennifer who was sleeping, to immediately carry out his plan they stole Jack's boat. And they will go and leave Jack alone on the island. When Manuel and Jennifer push the boat, Jack who saw it from a distance ran to stop them from taking the boat. But Jennifer and Manuel quickened their pace to get into the boat and set sail until they arrive in the middle of the ocean. Jennifer and Manuel were happy that they had made it off the island. But it was only for a moment. Because after successfully sailing they realized that there was a hole in the ship. It turns out that Jack deliberately made a hole in the ship so that they both drowned in the middle of the ocean. Finally the ship sinks filled with seawater, and makes Jennifer and Manuel swim back to the island. Jack, who saw Jennifer and Manuel back, was satisfied that he had managed to toy with them. Then Jack tries to approach and attacks Manuel with his wooden spear, as he is angry that his ship has been stolen. Manuel who was not ready, tried to run and dodge. But, he got hit by a Jack wooden spear right behind. Jack is very ambitious to kill Manuel, trying to catch Manuel who fled to save himself into the forest. Jennifer also tries to get in the way of Jack and tries to kill him himself with a knife. And while Manuel grabs a rock to help Jennifer, but at the same time, in a different place, Manuel's ex-girlfriend, performs another voodoo ritual. He casts a curse on the straw doll who is supposed to be Manuel. Maria then made a move on the doll. The curse aimed at Manuel actually happened. Manuel suddenly lost his balance and fell backwards. And for no apparent reason Manuel was stabbed by one of Jack's spears and died instantly. Jennifer immediately screamed seeing all the terrible events in front of her eyes. After the horrific incident, Jennifer is confused and shocked by Manuel's tragic departure. She becomes angry and will avenge the death of Manuel on her own husband. Until it felt like a year had passed. There came a ship that was sailing. The ship approached and pulled over on the island. They purposely go down to the beach to explore an adventure. People who took to the beach were surprised. When they found Jennifer fast asleep in her little house, Jennifer who is still a bit confused and shocked by Manuel's death. Then Jennifer said that he was the victim of a shipwreck and had been stranded on the island for months. After telling her, Jennifer didn't mention her husband at all. Though Jack was still on the island with him. But she remembered how Jack had forced her to live with him since Manuel's death. Jack's rude attitude made Jennifer decide to leave him. Those who heard his story sympathized with him. They then rescued Jennifer and took her away. When the boat pulled away from the island, Jennifer who was relaxing in the back of the boat, saw Jack hunting for fish. Jack who saw it tried to wave and call out to Jennifer. 
But the effort was in vain. Jack is still living on the island. Jennifer even stole Jack's lighter. So he can't make fire anymore. Jennifer finally manages to get revenge on Jack by going alone on an uninhabited island. I don't know how long he was there and the film ended. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to support this channel by subscribe. See you and bye bye.